So my name is uh, Kevin Sayers, and I want to present my uh, master's internship work uh, looking at mapping CWL to NextFlow, kind of as an effort to uh, improve portability of workflows. So first, a bit about both NextFlow and CWL. Uh, NextFlow is a domain-specific language that has some built-in functions and tools to handle common bioinformatics uh, processes. It abstracts away the deployment of workflows to either AWS or different HPC environments. And it's very human readable. It's very easy to take your bash scripts, kind of drop them in, and replace the command line options you want to uh, enable the workflow to handle um, very simply. Um, and then for at least a little while longer, uh, NextFlow also supports uh, Singularity, um, whereas both NextFlow and CWL support Docker. Um, NextFlow has some mature uh, support for Singularity. And then CWL is a spe uh, specification for uh, describing workflows. Um, then multiple implementations of this, uh, like Toil or Rabbix, handle the actual deployment to either HPC or cloud environments. And it's very verbose and explicit, as we'll see. And so kind of our goal for this uh, project was to hopefully enable people to take CWL workflows um, that are of interest and then use them in NextFlow or maybe extend them with features that are only supported in NextFlow. So kind of... Uh, a demonstration of the structural differences that we were dealing with. Uh, the common workflow language uh, command line tool here is on the left, and then the converted NextFlow uh, script is on the right. And so you can see that the CWL is very explicit, uh, defining each position, uh, which made it very easy to convert into uh, NextFlow. Um, and then for NextFlow, you have a bit more of a concise, uh, human-readable uh, bash script that's being executed. And a more complete example uh, with the CWL to NextFlow tool, it takes in a uh, CWL workflow file, and currently it only supports um, command line tools being in separate files. Um, we can't support the sub workflows yet, um, but it takes in a workflow file, parses all the inputs, converts these to either NextFlow channels or other input types, and then iterates over the step, uh, converting each step into a NextFlow process block. And so kind of the uh, supported features, uh, and some of these supported features are supported to varying degrees. Um, but we support secondary files, uh, scatter, which actually works very well with NextFlow's um, channels. And then uh, we can do basic JavaScript expressions uh, for either runtime parameters or inputs. And then kind of a uh, short list of the unsupported features. There's many more. Um, but we're very kind of specific in the type of CWL documents we can handle at the moment. Uh, they have to be the YAML style uh, CWL version 1.0 spec. And we currently can't handle the expression tools, um, but that's something we're working on and hopefully we'll get these and other features implemented. These are kind of the uh, quick conclusions. We do have a basic CWL to NextFlow converter. Um, it's still kind of an ongoing process to implement more features and make it more portable. And for this, we're looking at uh, the CWL Avro bindings and hopefully the CWL SDK to enable us to more easily and robustly uh, interpret the CWL files and port those to NextFlow. Um, we're interested in any community feedback and also invite anyone to contribute to the GitHub project. Um, and then another thing of this is there's a number of uh, sample workflows as part of the repository that are both implemented in CWL and NextFlow. So they offer a good side-by-side uh, -side comparison if anyone's uh, comparing the two languages or just of interest. And lastly, we have the our GitHub repository. And I'd like to thank everyone for listening and uh, also come see us at our poster this afternoon.